Okay, continuing on with the specimen, um, not sorry, the practice paper B, question 10. This is question 10, um, part C. It's the P1 specimen, uh, sorry, the practice paper. And we're going to continue on with 10, part C. This is question 10, part C. Um, it says a line L has equation Y equals K times X plus 2, where K is a constant. Show that the X coordinates of the points of intersection between C and L satisfy this equation. So let's remind ourselves the Curve C had equation minus 2x squared plus 6x plus 8. Minus 2x squared plus 6x plus 8. So y equals minus 2x squared and plus 6x plus 8. Okay, that was the equation of the curve C. And the equation of the line is y equals k times x plus 2. So where they intersect will be where um, basically they're equal to each other. Okay, where the x and, va x and y values are common to both of them. Okay, so what we could do here is we could just simply um, just replace the y in one of the equations by the other equation. So, for example, I could write, instead of this y, I could write what y is equal to from the other equation. So I could just say k times x plus 2 is equal to minus 2x squared plus 6x plus 8. Okay, um, one little point is, of course, much easier for me to use the equation in this form rather than the complete of the square form for me to complete this task because I'd have to, you know, simplify and expand and stuff. It's already done for us. So here we're going to have k times x plus k times 2, which is 2k, equals minus 2x squared plus 6x plus 8. And they want it to, uh, for us to write in this form with the 2x squared positive. So I'll bring everything onto this side here. So I'll have 2x squared and I'll have um, kx minus 6x or plus kx. I'm going to write all the x terms, all the terms together. No, in fact, I'll just do it. I'll do it like this. I have kx, kx plus 2k plus 2x squared minus 6x and minus 8. I just wrote everything on this side and now I can just sort it out. So I want to have the 2x squared first, so I'm going to have 2x squared. Then I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have uh, kx minus 6x, the x terms, so I've got plus kx minus 6x, so now those are the x terms dealt with. And now I've got the constants which is plus 2k and minus 8 equals 0. So we can see here x is common in these two. So I can write this as 2x squared plus, if I take out the common factor and write it at the end of the bracket, I'll have it in the same form as that, k minus 6 times x, x was common, and I'm left with at the end the 2k plus 8. I just wrote it in a bracket there, as they did. And we have our, we've shown how this became that by equating them, by making them, basically sol solving them simultaneously. That's the equation that we get. That's for part C. And then it says part D. Find the values of K for which L is a tangent to C. Okay. So now, um, we can see that this equation represents, this equation here uh, represents where the two equations um, meet. Okay. Where the line and the curve meet. That's what this equation represents. This tells us Okay, the values of x where the two equations will meet, the two lines will intersect. Okay, now, if the line is a tangent to the curve, if the line is a tangent to the curve, for example, the curve looks like that, for example, if the line is a tangent to the curve, they will only meet at one place. They'll only touch at one place. That's what the definition of a tangent is. So, if it is a tangent to the curve, Okay, there, as I said, it will intersect at one place. Now, this equation that we've formed is a quadratic equation. It's in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Okay, and we know that um, if the, the line is a tangent to the curve, they will meet at one place. That means there will be only one solution to this equation, in which case b squared minus 4ac will be equal to zero. That's when it will have one solution. Okay, if there's no solutions, b squared minus 4ac will be negative. 
If there's one solution, b squared minus 4ac will equal 0. If there's two solutions, b squared minus 4ac will be a positive value. And the reason being, in case you're not sure, is from the quadratic formula. Minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so the thing that um, tells us, the discrimin that discriminates whether or not there's going to, uh, how many solutions there's going to be, is this thing over here, the b squared minus 4ac, what's under the square root sign. If that thing is 0, then you'll have minus b plus or minus 0 of 2a, it will only be one answer. You'll have minus b over 2a. If it's positive, then you'll have minus b plus or minus something, so you'll have two separate answers, minus b plus that thing and minus b minus that thing all over 2a, and that will give you two separate solutions. And if b squared minus 4ac is negative, well, this whole expression will be undefined because you'll have the square root of a negative number, therefore there will be no solutions. So that's why this is called the discriminant. It discriminates between how many solutions a quadratic equation has. So we know that b squared minus 4ac has to equal zero for there to be one solution. And we know here that our a, our a is equal to two. And our b is equal to k minus six, it's the coefficient of x. And our c is a constant at the end, which is 2k minus 8. So we can just substitute that into here. So we've got k minus 6 squared minus 4 times a times c, which is 2k minus 8. And we know that has to equal 0. Okay. So we're going to have here uh, k squared minus 12x plus 36 okay when you square this brackets k minus 6 times itself okay so you can do it by using the pattern for squared terms minus this is going to be minus 8 minus 8 times 2 is minus 16 so minus 16 k and minus times minus is plus and 8 times 8 is 64 equals 0 so now we can find the values of k whoops Oh, um, that's a silly mistake I wrote there mixing up my k's and my x's there's no x's here now this is a k okay so now let's combine the like terms we've only got um, k squared we've got minus 12k minus 16k which is minus 28k and we got 36 plus 64 which is plus 100 is equal to zero. Okay, now, are there two numbers multiplied together that give you 100 and they add to give you minus 28? I don't think so. Um, they have the same sign. Nope. So let's, let's just solve this by completing the square. So we have k squared minus 28k equals minus 100. Okay, so you've got k um, minus 14 squared. Okay, I'm just take the half of this coefficient and then take away the square of 14. Okay, so you take away the square of 14. The square of 14, 14 squared, 14 squared, which gives you 196. Minus 196 is equal to negative 100. And then we have to add 196 to both sides. So we have k minus 14 squared is equal to minus 100 plus 196, which is 96. So k minus 14 squared is equal to plus or minus the square root of 96. Let's just check if there's any conditions for k. Um, It's just a constant, so it doesn't say it can't be negative. That's fine. So we can say plus or minus. And then we have k. Whoops. Please make sure once you've taken the square root, you don't write the squared. Okay. So now we have k is equal to 14 plus or minus the square root of 96. Now, is any perfect squares in 96? Let's make sure. Um, square root of 96... 
Yes, there is. Okay, it looks like there's a perfect square of 16. 16 times 6. Yeah. Okay, so you should always write your answer. I'm going to just cheat a bit here. I'm going to go down here. But really, you should go to the other page. You're going to have k equals 14 plus or minus, and you got here root 16 times root 6. So k is equal to 14 plus or minus 4 times root 6. Always show this step, otherwise they might possibly take marks off you, which I saw in one of the cases of my students from the January 2019 paper. He lost the mark for, for not, you know, breaking down the third, just going straight from here to there. So please make sure that you don't um, lose marks unnecessarily. Okay, so there we have, what is, let's see what the question says. Find the values of k, yeah, that's right. So those are the two values of k, 14 plus 4 root 6 and 14 minus 4 root 6. So these are the answers to that part of the question. And there we have the end of that question.